wisdom from above, spiritual wisdom rising up in a community, landing in my heart is so desperately needed in those three areas. Personal priorities. What do you do every day to use your hours effectively? Eating, working, exercising, sleeping, reading, entertainment, conversations, evangelism, praying. There are no specific rules in the Bible as to how many minutes of your day should go into each of those. So how do you decide? I don't know how to decide. You just do it. Which means you better be wise. Because you might wind up putting zero effort into something really important and way too much effort into something unimportant because in the Bible there's no statement that says one hour in the Word or ten minutes in the Word or one hour with your kids or ten minutes with your kids or how do you decide? I'll tell you how you decide. You do what your heart feels like doing. That's what you do. Which means we desperately need wisdom. Just growing up. Just growing up. Or parenting. I dare say that 95% of our daily specific decisions in parenting are not laid down in Scripture. But we have to decide. Parents don't have the luxury of postponing how they think a child should be reared. It's happening. (laughs) Whether you're ready or not, it's happening. Do they deserve a spanking? A hard one? Or forgiveness this time? Second chance, third chance, no chance. It's over. Go to your room. What? What do you do? You got an idea? You got this figured out? No, you don't have it figured out. You just do what seems best. Right then. You see the agenda it sets for us? We've got to become wise. It's just got to be there. Or politics. When I, when I say politics, I don't mean mainly here this supercharged moment we're in where you're trying to figure out how to vote. I mean, how do you think about being a citizen decisively of heaven and not of America? How do you live on the earth when your life is hidden with Christ in God? When you're an alien and an exile on the earth and yet biblically called to submit to the powers? Biblically called to love your neighbor, to make a living, to subdue the earth? How are you in the world and not of the world? I don't know. (laughs) You just do what seems right when you're faced with so many possibilities to fill your day with good things. Do you see why this issue of a relational culture in which wisdom, by God's grace, might be pleased to grow up in our hearts is so urgent to me? Their their church issues, their personal priority issues, their parenting issues, their political issues, and you could add to that list.